Once you see this Excel tip, you want to try it yourself because it's so simple. It is about building your very own calendar. We'll start by creating a drop down menu for month by selecting cell A1, data, data tools, data validation, settings, allow, set to list, and the source. We're going to put all the month in a year and click on OK. Then after that, we're going to click on cell B1 to put the drop down for the year and then go data, data tools, data validation, settings, allow, set to list, source. We're going to put the year from 2024 to 2030 and then click on OK. Then after that, we're going to put all the seven days of the week here. Select cell A3 and use this formula for the dates. Comment if you want a link to the video explaining how this formula works. To change the font color for non-inclusive date of the calendar for the first week, we're going to use conditional formatting and use this formula here. After that, we're going to change the font color to gray and click OK and OK. Now, to change the font color of a non-inclusive date on the calendar for the last week, we use conditional formatting and use this formula and select a gray font color and click OK and OK. And finally, for some cosmetic, we're going to remove all the grid lines by going to View, Show Grid Lines. And then we're going to add borders for cell A3 to G8 like this. Go to Home, Font, All Borders. And we're going to change the row height to 86 and then the column width to 11. We're going to change the font size of that calendar dates to 20 and the drop down text size to 16. And after that, you're done.